Rose of Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and Silver, Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Are we're, I'm getting it out. I'm, what is I'm it? Gonna Silver say Dollar City? Silver Dollar City. I have okay. trouble with L's. I have a speech problem, but I'm working on it. Anyway, all of these people are working on a new entertainment venue out in Branson. Now, it's currently mm -hmm. under construction, and the new musical theater promises to attract fans from all over the world. They mm -hmm. are very excited Indeed. About the Grand Palace is scheduled to open next May with Randy Travis, Tanya Tucker, Reba McIntyre, Clint Black, and many others already lined up to perform during the course of the year. Well, during a press conference held last week in Branson, the creators announced that in addition to major headliners, the theater will have two country music entertainers who will alternate as hosts throughout the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the host for the Grand Palace. Two more country music superstars are heading to Branson. Louise Mandrell and Glenn Campbell have been named the hosts of a new $13 million venue called the Grand Palace. Why Branson? I like Branson. I like the concept down here, and the audiences are second to none that I've played in the world. The Grand Palace is currently under construction on 20 acres of Ozark Mountain land. When it's completed in the spring, it'll be able to accommodate approximately 4,000 people. The venue is wonderful, and it's exciting to have something this nice anywhere. Of all the theaters under construction in Branson, the Grand Palace is being acclaimed as the most spectacular. It's also being compared by many to the Grand Ole Opry House, but its newly appointed hosts think the comparison is a little ridiculous. It's like choosing between children. Which child do you like the best? They're both so different, and I don't think they can be compared. Nashville has always been the, you know, it's the hub of country music. It's strictly... And it's definitely been, you know, the business hub of country music uh, ever since I can remember. But this is just a, a place that uh, people come down here for the music, you know, and they can drive through. It's very easy to get to and it's small. And uh, it's not like going to the big city, so I think that's what they like about it. I get offended when anyone compares anything, any place, to the Grand Ole Opry or uh, Opryland or Nashville. It's my home. Well, we'll point out that Louise does not plan on buying a home in Branson at this time. Glenn says he'll be moving his family there for the summer. And Louise will be appearing at Opryland next year in the Geo Celebrity Theater. But she's not going to be doing a daily show in the Acuff Theater like she did this year because mm -hmm. due to the new commitments in Branson, she's got to yeah. be there. So she's splitting the time. Some there. exciting times for those mm -hmm. folks.